Here's a quick demo to show mechanical drawing and the process that you'll go through. First, I've opened my AutoCAD and I've checked my units. Let me check my units once more. I see their decimal. That's good. I'm doing a mechanical thing. I've looked at my layout and I don't see anything on it right now. Layout 2, they're both blank. Um, and so I know that I want to insert my title block to get all of my good information. So let me go to my recent blocks where I can go and look for it. Oh, there's one right there. But I think I want to use this one. It's an A size, so put that in there. I think that'll look really nice. So I've got a title block and I've got it on a layout. So that's good. Um, I can set my plotting right now if I want to. Uh, plot Setup Manager, because I know that I'm going to be changing this to AutoCAD General Full Bleed. I'm going to do Monochrome or Grayscale. Won't matter which one I do right now. I'm going to plot my layout, see how it looks. So I don't have everything quite in the right place. I'm going to have to move stuff a little bit. But I can I can move this. Move. There. Now everything will look really nice when I'm done. And I can even make my viewport go the whole way. And so these are important things to do at the beginning. Check that again, make sure I've got that set. Endpoint set. So I've got, these are just typical things that you'll do at the very beginning to get yourself set. And I'll go back to my model space and you can see that, yes, I've got all of the layers that I wanted, object, text being the main ones. Um, I've got all of the things that I want for my uh, drawing to be done. So the last thing I want to do before I get started is put in my sample that I'm going to draw from. I like to have it available. So I'm going to copy from the workbook and paste. And I'm just going to put it right there. I'm going to move it out of the way because I like to start at zero, zero. So now I can go back and reference it. And remember, I'm going to draw this part right here. So I think the first thing I said I would do is draw this. So I want to make sure that I'm on the correct layer. I'm on my object layer. And I'll make a circle starting at 0, 0, with a diameter of 6.5. Oh, not very big there. I can move this down to somewhere a little bit closer. And I can even shrink it so that it looks a little better. Okay, so there's my 6.5. I don't need that nearly so huge. There's my 6.5. And then I said that there were two lines. I'm going to put them on the center later. One went horizontally from the center. And I don't know how long they are. I'm just going to make them long. And the other went at 45 degrees. So I remember that there's a tracking bar. So I can draw at 45. There it is, 45 degrees. I don't care how long it is. And then it shows to trim this away. So I'm going to trim my circle away so that all I have is what's in between there. And then the next thing I did is I said I wanted to find this center point, but I got to do it up here. Remember, even though it says it's down here, every one of these is cut in half. So 22.5. Let me draw another line. Oops, I better set myself. It says 23. Let's look at my units. Units. Oh. Oh. Because I'm not telling it to talk to me very precisely. 22.5. So now I want to draw in this direction. 
I don't remember the length. 4.228. 4.228. There we go. That's this line right here. And then I have a circle with a radius, 1.328. Circle. This is going to be an object line now. Circle with an R for radius, R for radius, 1.328. Now I can do my trim again because I remembered that I didn't want this stuff in the middle or this. Ooh, it's starting to look like it. And then I remembered also that these lines come in 0.25 on a side. So I can do my offset 0.25 and I can trim some more. So now I've got this outside little piece right here. So now I need to know where to stop this line, and it's on a circle of 3.25. So if I draw a circle, with a diameter of 3.25, and I can do a bunch more trimming. Trim, 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 trim. Can do even more trimming out here. Trim, trim. Sorry, I'm going to get rid of that extra little stuff there. Then I know that that piece right there is really part of my object. Huh, how cool is this? And then there was some sort of a circle that came and matched up object. Oh, I see I shouldn't quite have trimmed this one yet. I'm going to need that to trim with. So now I can trim these circles to have only this little part that I want. That goes away and that goes away. That goes away and that goes away. And now in the black, I see the part that I'm most interested in. Okay, and so, and I can leave these on here. These, I can turn them on and off later on if I don't like the looks of them. See my part there? That's kind of cool. So now here comes the new part that you have not done yet. So here's the new part, new part, new part. It's the array command right here. And I'm going to make an array that's a circle. It's a regular pattern, regular pattern. So I'm going to make a regular pattern, click, and I'm going to highlight what I want to make a pattern of. Just that stuff. I don't need everything. Just the, just the object. And I'll hit enter. And then it asks me, where's the center of it? And it's going to be the center of my thing. Bang. Oh, look at that. And it sort of looks right, but it's not quite, not quite right. Because this says that I've got six items. And I counted eight. Eight. So let me see what happens if I count eight. Oh, look at that. And it looks, oh, there's something wrong. I didn't quite get that quite right. I got something just a little bit wrong. Uh, but I can, I can go back and fix that later. It looks pretty good right now. Um...
So maybe I didn't use that center point because this is off just a little. Or maybe my circle went a little bit too long. Okay. But I can go back and fix that. But there we go. Now I've got that all kind of done. Now let's see what it looks like over here. I'm going to double click and I'm going to move it around till I can see it. And I'm going to want to get sort of a normal, either 1 equals 1. And that's okay. I can probably get all of my information on there. But if I can't get 1 equals 1, I'll go with 1 equals 2 to be able to fit the things better. I need either 1 equals 1 or 1 equals 2, depending on how much room you need to be able to make everything, all your dimensions fit. This looks like it might be hard to get all of the dimensions, but maybe I can get them on there. Okay, go back to my model. And now I can start putting on my dimensions. Of course, you have to finish the drawing. You have to finish the drawing. But watch, I can say I want a Ray, diameter dimension on this. There it goes, right there. And see how that looks like the one that was on there? Oh, but I don't remember. That should have been two decimal places, right? So I've loaded those all. I can look at my properties and say that I want it to be on the dim style called mech XX because I've loaded those. So this is how you get to practice all that good stuff that you are doing. Okay. So there you go. That's your tutorial. And of course, you need to make everything look right. This will be practice. And you can ask questions if you need more.